Okay, we are at the Ape Caves, cleaning off our shoes. About to enter the dark unknown. This is where you enter the cave. We're in the Abe Caves. Through the caves on Amber's birthday. So, there's this boulder field we just climbed up. That's what they're like, they're these long. You gotta climb over everything to get through here. Okay, we came down here. Now it's kind of flat again. All right, the boulder fields are getting smaller. The last couple have been. I think we're over the fourth one. This is a cave. Here's a nice, the ground is very bumpy. I'm not even, but this section of the cave is pretty amazingly probably hard to see where there's no more light. Okay, we're coming up. It's getting narrower. Gonna have to duck here. Bit of a sketchy part right here. Gonna go around this big. Don't want to fall down in there. We see natural light up ahead, but the scouts that we sent ahead are reporting that it is only a hole, not an exit. Let's see.
didn't fall in that hole. Is that one? Yeah. We made it to the end. The eight caves. Okay, well we all just climbed out of there. There's the stairs at the end. Brings you up into this bowl here. It's the end of the hike. All right, here's our fearless crew. They just finished the Ape Cave Upper Trail. Right, is that what it's called? Yeah. The Upper Cave? The Upper Cave is So tell us what you guys learned about this hike. Yeah, there's boulder. You have to do a lot of climbing over boulders, right? It's not as hard as online will do. Is there only maybe two spots, Evelyn, that are, we need help getting through? Yeah, it was helpful to have somebody boost you in a couple spots, but it was pretty doable. Got pretty warm with a sweat hoodie on. So you exert yourself. It seemed kind of uphill most of the way. You're going up the lava flow. What else? Can an eight-year-old do it? Yes, yeah. Yeah. It's cool to think about it, but there's probably a lot of reasons you never really do it. Yeah, probably. Yeah, anything else? We had to pay two dollars to get a ticket for a car, right? To park. No, to get in. To get in. Pass for the car. Yeah. If you have a fourth grader, you can get a free pass. Thanks, Austin. Thanks, Austin. And we were in it by ourselves for the. I mean. Yeah, it wasn't crowded. Yeah. Weekend. Yep, now we get to walk, it looks like one and a half miles back to the car. So, good job, guys. Yeah, out of 10, what do you give it? Uh, 10. 10 out of 10? Yep. Awesome. Here's the trail back, and there's still snow on the ground. It's Memorial Day 2022. It's been a cooler spring, so that's probably why. I think we're probably 3,000 feet elevation. Yep. Oh, wow. I was going to comment that people on reviews had said to bring a water bottle with you and stuff. I don't, I don't think that's necessary. It's only a mile and a half and a mile and a half back. And you want your hands free to be... Yes, you definitely want a headlamp. It said to bring in, uh, two flashlights, but... We only needed one, and we brought extra batteries. If you were by yourself, you'd probably want to bring a spare in case you had a malfunction. Ooh, no and it's pretty snowy. Yeah. Look at that.